Leo, what it be, yo? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it with you. We are here to find out what's going on for the month of February. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. So, everybody, thank you so, so much for all of your love and, um, Everyone sending well wishes for me and my family. Um, and as you can see, this is why we have the delayed videos this month. Um, because we were all sick with the flu. So thank you so much to everyone um, sending well wishes to me and my family. As well as everyone who has booked personal and private readings and sent love donations. It's made it possible for me to have these new decks that you see before you hear. These are all new decks. And um, I am recording on a brand new camcorder so thank you so much to all of the love and, uh, and support to my channel if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again that is scorpion reds tarot at simply book me and if this video resonates with you and if you would like to give a personal um donation a love offering to the page to you know help the page grow if you just want to you know give a, a love donation just to say thank you for the you know for being able to provide some type of guidance for you you can do so um by clicking the paypal hyperlink in the description and thank you guys so much for the dollar two dollars three dollars um 20 whatever that y'all give um it's literally uh made it possible for all of these new decks because i you know i like to give you guys some different flavor and stuff like that and i greatly appreciate all of the love and support thank you guys so much all right so let's get into the reading leo all right so for the sign of leo i'm just feeling like uh i, I just i honestly feel like leo is in a state where they are just almost feeling like it's this real I feel like Leo is feeling like they're in a point in their life where they're experiencing new love and new beginnings and things like that but I feel like um, there are certain elements still trickling in from the past that are trying to possibly cause a hindrance in this new happiness but I definitely know that Leo is pushing ahead full force like with a level of determination and um i just i, I definitely feel that uh leo is it's kind of like is this real what i'm going through right now and it's like it's it's, it's a happiness it's a pleasure and a pain type of thing going on right now and i just feel like leo just wants to get to a point of just like being grounded and just having a state of normalcy and just like pure happiness and just know drama i just feel like they're at a point in their life where this is 2019 and they're just tired of the drama and um father god please give the sign of leo guidance for the month of february please keep us in the highest of all high vibrations in the name father please um continue to allow us to rest at your feet whenever we need to take a break and things in the world is just getting too much for us thank you for allowing us to set them burdens at your feet and be able to rest when need be and um you pick us up and you you know put us back on our path to continue to go father god thank you so much for continuing to always be that constant um you know state of groundedness for the sign of leo please give the sign of leo guidance for the month of february and thank you so much for all of the blessings in the that you've given us in the past, the present. And thank you for all the blessings that you're going to continue to give us in the future. Thank you so much, Father. Please give the sign of Leo guidance for the month of February. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give the sign. Leo guidance. Thank you so much. Please give the guidance for the sign of Leo. Alright, so we got the three of swords. Yes, them them listen, that heartbreak, that's over. The king of wands in reverse. Alright. 
We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, come on. Hierophant. Five of Swords. In the Moon. Alright. So this is what's going on. Leo has healed from the heartbreak. Like I said, they are finally at this point where it's like... Almost, they're at disbelief that they really, like, healed from this heartbreak and really don't even think about that past relationship anymore. I don't feel like it really has any presence in the current state of affairs in Leo's heart. Um, right now, Leo is in this, you know, King of Wands reverse energy right now because... I feel like they need some time to heal their heart. I don't feel like they are in a point where they really want to commit to anything or anyone. Um, I feel like they are, you know, they're kind of in and they're out. You know, I don't feel that they're giving themselves passion, passionately to anything at this current state. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, they're, they're not willing to work on anything any new anything new and I feel like in this energy right here in this king of wands reverse end in this eight of pentacles reverse I feel like Leo is not possibly working on their self at this current moment I feel like I honestly feel like the constant having to constantly revisit this heartbreak to have to keep addressing it, you know, that it keeps pulling Leo down. And it puts Leo in a state where it's just like, anytime they get happy and they meet someone new, and I feel like they really met someone, and they were happy in that situation, and they were like this, and they were really the work on this new situation and things like that but I honestly feel like this person this ex-lover this person from the past I feel like they came and they sabotaged that relationship in a sense where it frustrated Leo so much where they were just like look maybe I'm not ready to you know move forward in relationship right now I'm just like I just I I want to just do me right now. I'm not willing to work on any any relationships with anybody. You know, I feel like Leo is at a point where they're like seeking guidance and seeking help from the hierophant. Um, I I feel like Leo has possibly started going to church or maybe thinking about going to church. I think like one of their boys is just like, look, man. You've been going through a lot of shit or whatever. Come with me and my wife to church. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you just, you just, you need a word right now. You need somebody to lay some hands on you and just like show you that you can give your burdens to God and you don't really have to, you know, carry this burden like that anymore. And I feel like on a high level that. Leo is in search of some type of guidance, basically, because they're putting down these wands. It's like they don't want to argue. They don't want to battle. They don't really want to communicate with people that are causing them any type of frustration and drama anymore. Like, they just really don't. And I feel like on a high level, it's like they are looking for some form of guidance, because they're tired of feeling like they're constantly having to defend themselves and they're constantly having to be in some sort of struggle with people. And they really don't know what the future holds for them. And they're trying to stay in a high spirit at all times. It's like, regardless of the fact that I really don't know what the future holds for me, like, I have to continue to go you know and create new towers create new foundations for myself I can't go back to whatever the past was like I have to be guided by my own intuition as you can see that is the high priestess standing there in the back 
I've seen in other tar tarot decks like her Im her immersing herself in this um, water right here that that crab is coming out of, um, you know, that's right under the moon. Like she bathes and was birthed in that water. And, you know, that is, you know, the, the high priestess is about self guidance, using your intuition, self knowing, you know, being knowledgeable of all of this, you know, the wisdom and the secrets and the mysteries of the universe in the, in the world. Then, you know, people come to her for guidance, you know, because she is like a powerful mother of knowledge. So I feel for Leo, it's like, They know that the keys are right here. They know that the keys are right here. Okay? But in order for them to move forward and to really be able to grab hold of the keys to their new destiny, they know that they need some type of guidance and they need some type of structure and like a strong foundation. And that willingness to put up a battle in a fight for things that no longer serve them and that's not going to help them in the overall mission of where God wants them to be in their life I think that's where Leo is like really thinking about now it's just like what is the big picture like what what did everything that I go through what did that mean like it you know it was a lesson for something and at the end of the day I am not going to try to sit on nobody's throne and try to be a king and work on a situation with anybody that is going to lessen my value, that is going to put me through a whole bunch of drama, that is going to make me feel or make me act in a way where I'm not holding myself in the highest of all high. You know, I really do feel like they want to get to a point where they can literally and wholeheartedly like sit in front of the hierophant and be proud of their self. Be proud of the accomplishments that they've made in their life. Be proud of the man that they are. Be proud of the relationship. And literally stand before God and truly want to marry this person. Like and truly have the keys to success and have a strong foundation. That is where Leo is at right now. It's like what is the big picture? What did I go through all of this shit for? And I know I don't know what my future holds, but God damn it, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. And right now, it's not the time for me to work on anything with anybody else. I'm just getting out of this situation. I maybe was moving too fast trying to, you know, get into another relationship with somebody. I don't feel like it's time for that. I feel like it's time for me. You know, it's just time for me right now. It's time for me. I feel like Leo's really trying to work on their own intuition and strengthening their foundation. Because it's like, I feel like for, for Leo, for this person in the past to have so easily came in and shake the foundation of that new situation that you had for it to fall to the wayside like that. It just was a quick reminder to Leo, like, that wasn't what was right for me anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't truly sit on the throne in that situation. It wasn't, it, it wasn't strong enough for me to work on. And I needed, I need to work on myself because this is someone that creates, you know, masterpiece. You see that? That's a fucking masterpiece, honey. That's somebody that's really putting in some work. And it wasn't, it, it, it just wasn't the right situation. It wasn't the right situation. And like he said, you know, if that person from the past could just so easily come and shake break and rattle the foundation of what he had with this girl that he's currently trying to have something going on with, it just, it wasn't it. And, like, he's not tripping on nothing from the past. And, I, you know, I just feel like Leo's just like, look, I'm about to just continue working on me and just doing me. And, like, God will send me the right, he'll send me the right situation. Inner child, muse, 
Dark Knight at his comic partner. Should should I do these in reverse? I'm feeling like I should. I'm, I'm feeling like I should. Something just told me to read that in reverse. The way that you put it out. Crossroads. Pure. Grief. And shadow work. Alright, so this is what I'm getting. In regards to love for the sign of Leo. Um, I feel like they've released that inner child. I feel like they are not playing anymore. Leo is not playing anymore. They are not. They are not here for child's play. Not only that, they're not here to be someone's muse. Do you understand? I'm I'm not here for your little fixation to be your poster boy for you know this fictional relationship that you want and and you want to try to paint me to be a certain way and want to change me and make me into the person personal fucking like Ken doll or some shit. I feel like Leo is tired of being in situations dealing with women. And I'm sorry that I'm reading this in like a male's perspective. I will flip it around and read it in a female's perspective too. But this is what I'm getting. I feel like they're tired of people trying to fucking change them. And it's like, look, I'm not here for you to just paint your perfect picture of what the fuck you think I should be. I am who I am. Respect me, respect my mind, look at your head, knocked off, okay, Lil Wayne? Respect my mind, okay? Respect my mind, respect who I am, and stop trying to change me. I don't feel like they're like, they're not playing around anymore. They're tired of playing in these, like, juvenile-ass, childish, petty-ass relationships with juvenile, childish-ass people. That don't respect who they are and want to change them. They're not changing their self for no goddamn body. Not no more. And this is the dark night of the soul. I feel like Leo was in a place of darkness for a minute. Because of leaving that old situation. And finally them getting to the point where they had to let go. Because I do feel like. At some point in time, like, it was a slight obsession for Leo trying to work on that old situation. Like, I felt like it put them in a dark place where they were just, it made them feel low. Having to stoop to that level of begging. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like once they pulled their self up out of that, you know... I felt like they kind of waddle in a space where they can't even believe that they humiliated themselves trying to kiss someone's ass to get them to take them back. And they had to rebuild themselves out of that darkness, you know, and they literally released that like they have left that dark part of their soul back in 2018. And that's why, it's, it, you know, they are not allowing this person from the past. Who was trying to change them and make them something that they weren't, you know, just to fit in this relationship. They are not allowing that person or any fucking body for that matter to come and put them in this dark space again. Not not ever. And they're just like, I'm not I'm not playing around anymore. I'm not dealing with any more fucking karmic partners, you know. I am not doing any more cheating. I'm not dealing with anyone that I feel like isn't valuing me. I am tired of this shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, Leo wants to attract and be attracted to the right one that only sees him and he only sees her. He don't want to deal with no more of this bullshit. Like, he has left this dark. He's He wants this part of his life to be in the past that's why you know that's right here right next to this hierophant like they really are at a crossroads okay that's why it's like they don't want to work on nothing they don't want to give themselves to nothing they don't want to try to sit on a throne and be a false king to no situation that is not really going to work out for them they're like they're at this crossroads where it's like you know like I 
have situations where I can sit on a throne and, and, and be the man in this situation and be a half-assed man and not really, you know what I'm saying? Or I could continue to work on myself and not give myself to, to shit. Basically not give myself to shit. And it's like, it's like either I, like, do you see this? It's like, they're at this crossroads where it's like this karmic partner, this dark place, someone trying to change them, them being in a childish situation is over there. You understand? And then on this other side of the crossroads right here is them stop feeling like they having to defend themselves from the past and releasing the arguments, releasing the tensions, releasing the battle and the moon, you know, not really knowing what's on the other side of this crossroads, but knowing they have to get past this crossroad. Do you understand what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me. And they're at the state where they're at this crossroads and they have literally purged and purified any state of grief that has been going on in their life. So this is purge in the in the reverse and this is grief in the reverse. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. They have literally figured out that they had to purge the grief. They had to purge literally feeling like they had to defend themselves against shit in the past. Shit that shouldn't even be worked on. Shit that even shouldn't matter in their life right now. Shit that is childish. Shit that is with a situation that brought them to a low place. And someone that was trying to change them and didn't accept them for who they were. Someone who was just a karmic partner. That was a lesson. They had to realize that they needed to purge this grief. And like really get rid of it. Like for good this time. Really don't give your energy to it at all. And that involved them dealing with the shadow. You know what I'm saying? Them like really digging deep in the shadows and figuring out what is it about me that I'm attracting these situation or that I attracted this situation or why couldn't I let go? Like why? You know what I'm saying? Like they had to purge, purge. And dig deep and figure out, well, what was this darkness that I was dealing with? You know what I'm saying? Like, how could I, like, you know, being pushed that low, even to where they were out there cheating. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Where Leo was out there doing fucked up shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person pushed them to a dark spot where they feel like they went out and cheated and then also for them getting into that dark space where it almost became an obsession for them trying to fix that relationship but knowing that it was a relationship that they were in a crossroads with and they needed to purge because they were living in a state of grief because this person was trying to change them and it was a lot of childish stupid arguments there that they really weren't happy in so sorry if i'm repeating myself you guys but i just want to make sure that y'all are understanding these cards like leo it's like why did i go and try to em em embarrass myself it was damn near kissing this person's ass and it's like what if this person would have accepted me back when i would have truly been happy no this person was trying to change me, and this was a karmic situation. It was only to teach me a lesson. And I really do feel like Leo grew up a lot. And especially where they're coming to this point where they're like, they're willing to go to the Pope, to like the church, to the Hierophant, you know, to get guidance and try to get help in their situation because they want to be a better man. Please give Leo guidance in regards to. Okay. They felt like the situation was robotic. And they didn't want to... Okay, let me read these cards how they're coming out. Robotic and foolish. 
please give the sign of Leo additional guidance in regards to the shadow work, what they had to release in the shadow. Being scorned. And what does it say? Being too forceful. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because they were being forceful. Leo was being forceful. And it, yeah, and it was a one sided situation. Most definitely. And, it, and they were being, they were delusion. Yeah. Mm hmm. Do you have any other messages for the sign of Leo in regards to what they were dealing with in the shadows? But I, yeah, they were trying to feel it. Okay, all right. I, I, I totally see this. I totally see this. This is most definitely what the sign of Leo was dealing with. They were in a robotic ass situation with this person that they were leaving from the past. I just feel like this is someone that they were with for a long ass time. They were with this person for a long ass time. And it got boring. It was robotic. It was so predictable. The sex was predictable. It was nothing thrilling or exciting about it. And I just don't think that Leo was mature enough. That's why this foolish is in reverse as well. I don't think that, um, I mean, Leo knows now. Okay. But they had to realize that they were being, that they needed to stop being foolish. And they should have communicated better that, listen, this is robotic. This shit is not, it's just not doing it for me anymore. And instead, like, they went out and, and was doing foolish things. And they were cheating. And they, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Leo was doing shit that they shouldn't have been doing. You understand? They participated in their own foolish behavior too because this was so robotic for them. And the things that they did create a situation where they were scorned because the person left them. And it's like, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to work this situation out. I'm trying to fix this. I'm trying to just, and it puts you in a situation where you were scorned. You understand? Because this person didn't work, want to work things out with you and you had to learn to stop being so forceful. Okay. That's what Leo, that was what Leo had to come to terms with. Okay. Because that situation wasn't being forgiven. Leo was trying to almost force herself in, in like, well, I don't give a fuck. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. They had to realize to stop trying to force the situation. If this person doesn't want to be with you, so be it. So be it. Like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm scorned because this person won't let me back. But I can't force this person to be something and allow me to be something and show them I'm, I've changed when they don't want to give me that chance. And that's basically what Leo had to come to terms with in the shadows and in the darkness. And also realize that this was a one-sided situation here. This was a one-sided situation. It doesn't matter if it was on their side or Leo's side, but Leo basically felt like at the point when they were coming back trying to fix it, they felt like they were the only one trying to fix it. And they had to realize, like, listen, let me stop being disillusioned by the fact that this person is going to allow me to come back and things are going to work out. Like, they, you know, and they said, I have to release this void in my life. I have to release this void in my life and I have to move on. And that's what Leo did. That's what Leo did. And I feel like as soon as Leo worked through this, did this shadow work and they worked through the darkness and they worked through these things and they realized the things that they needed to do and release, and that they needed to purge being in this crossroads. I feel like this, this situation from the past and was trying to, t you know, I feel like it was like they were really trying to come through and like tarnish the progress that Leo was doing for their future. And it just put them in this place where it's like, okay, well, now I'm at this crossroads again. 
where I'm finding things that I needed to purge. And maybe I just need to purge the idea of trying to work on relationships and just be in relationships with motherfuckers right now. Like, I just, like, no, because I'm just creating. And I, I, I feel like Leo keeps getting into all of these karmic connections and they don't want no fucking karmic connections like, like they don't want no more karmic fucking connections no goddamn more you know what i'm saying i don't want no more karmic connections i want somebody that is going to last and that's going to be there you know like that's they want a true foundation and it's like you know if it's not going to be what i want then i'm not i'm just going to play around i'm just going to do me i'm not going to give myself to to it at all give Leo a shadow and light oracle card for the month of February. Ooh. The fairy of the green world. Ooh. She party. Ain't she parties? She real pretty in tropicals. Ain't she? Ooh. Ooh, Leo. She green. I hope she got some money. She, she she got some money. Ooh. What she is? What she be talking about? Number 44. 59, 57. Okay. So let me see. It says the natural world needs you. This little green fairy signifies and embodies the life force of the green world. She is tending to plants that are drooping, too moist or too dry. She is like a nurse, a healer, a sign to the plant realm. Green forces and small personal gardens alike. She is joyful every time someone gives her energy to this realm. Every little bit helps nature, um, I'm sorry, helps nurture plants which are very tired. Fewer and fewer plants and trees and forests are expected to provide more life-giving oxygen for animals and elements and we humans. Sometimes we become overwhelmed with all we humans have done to the green world. So she may have to be, so she may be about to ask for your help. Um, when you give her help, blessings are returned to you. Threefold, the fairy of the green world speaks. The green world is changing and I'm asking for your help. The world needs you to tend to green things in some way right now. And it is time for you to make a contribution. Time to plant a garden, assist another with theirs, or share some food, flowers, or herbs from your own. Develop your connection to the solar energy. Find your own water source and depend less on supermarkets, ATMs, and electricities. Learn to live with her, the soul of the green world. By providing the world with this beautiful example, you are nourishing and nurturing our mother, the earth, who feels so tired some days. Find a forest, a grove of trees, or a fairy ring of mushrooms somewhere that speak to your soul sit with her for a while when she breathes her messages through the leaves and whispers the world of wisdom into your ears you will know the right place and time to devote your sacred donation of time and energy i thank you in advance the fairies will um be sure to help you in return the true message it is time to grow plants or tend to a vegetable plant or an herb garden. Look into contribution, contributing some money or time or devotion to a cause for the green world, the natural forest and the wide green spaces of the planet need your healing, kind, and tending hand and heart right now. Your influence will have great power. Make a donation to a wildlife foundation for the green world. It says, look into establishing a grove or visiting a forest or offering your energetic support and prayers for the world where green spaces thrive and where the wild creatures of the green world continue to live in their own environment. 
See and visualize a world where green things grow. And the fairy of the green world will know that nature is safe while there are ones such as you in this world. It is time for growth and abundance for earth elements to find its way true and strong to beautiful life. Eat organic foods, go raw, detox, find a water source and cleanse it. Be more self-sustaining and step away from unnatural systems and join the natural world energies of plants and the galaxy. All right, so I feel like, you know, Leo might wake up this morning on a damn salad or something. I mean, shit. Come on, Leo. You better go ahead and go green. You better, you look, you better be mean and green, Leo. Leo, where you going to chop? Where you going, Leo? Can you give me a salad? I like that farmer salad. I don't know. I don't think that's the best salad in there because it got all them eggs and all them beautiful, beautiful pieces of meat in there and stuff like that. Well, I guess you know. Leo, maybe I'm not the best person to go to Chopped with. You know, I, you know. Shit. I'll, I'll, I'll eat a Caesar. Can I, is a Caesar healthy? Shit, I eat a Caesar. They ain't got nothing in it, right? They just got some little, uh, what? Some little sauce and some, and some cheese, right? That's some croutons. That's about all. And yeah, for, for a Caesar salad to, Literally have nothing in this Caesar farm and shit. Hey, oh God. Hey, y'all, listen. Why I went to Hawaii for a job. I was there for like 17 days. And we went to this real fancy as um, Italian restaurant. Why they call themselves making a Caesar salad in front of me, bitch? Why they took a raw ass egg, cracked that shit, and, and whipped that shit up in some balsamic vinegars? I don't know what the fuck they... Girl, they try to put that shit on my salad. I said, oh, hell no. We won't go. Hell no, we won't go. You was not... What you was trying to give me salmonellas? Leo, they was trying to get me some salmonellas up in the Hawaii, y'all. I'm like, is that what y'all be doing? Y'all be cracking raw ass, whole raw ass eggs and whipping up some mayonnaise with that. What y'all, what was they doing? What was they trying to feed me, y'all? What kind of sauce was it? I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't want that neither. I don't want that neither. Look, Leo, y'all just go to Chopped and y'all give me that little farmer salad with all that good, all the meats and de delectable cheeses and white sauce and stuff that is not healthy. That is not healthy. Anyway, Father God, please uh, stop all my rhetoric. Thank you. Come on. Let's clarify the uh, first bread. I'm going to be talking about salmonellas and, sal and salads. Okay. You said I'm releasing something in the name of Jesus, okay? Ooh. It was a burden. You said, ooh, ooh. And you said it was devilish and it was toxic. And I will be victorious. Come on, Leo. What you say, Leo? Leo. What it be, yo? Leo. Hey, I'm reloaded. Leo said, listen, listen me. Listen me, okay? I'm a big, bad, sexy ass bitch out here. All right. This one is for the ladies, for the ladies. She said, I'm big, bad, sexy mama out here sitting on this throne. Let you know, ding dong, bitch, I'm home. Bitch, I'm here. Okay. And let it be clear. I am passionate. Bitch, my puss is pulled up. I am pulled up puss in boots, bitch. All up and through this forest, okay? And can't now, bitch, touch me. Can't now, girl, touch me. Okay? I am the one, Daniel, son. I am the fucking one. And you better know, honey, listen. Listen me. Me sit here on my throne and I got my eyes closed, honey, and I am manifesting greatness and you just better know it's bitch. Listen, I have released and I'm giving up on anything that doesn't have any value to and for me. What did I tell y'all? I was going to let y'all know how the ladies, how the Leo ladies was feeling. Listen, they have released themselves from this heartbreak. They said, honey, you don't have no, look, love don't live here anymore. Do, 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 do. It's a fantasy. Love don't live here anymore. Yeah, yeah I know I can sing. Yeah, yeah. A bitch got a little woo 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 woo. Okay, 
Leo say, bitch, love don't live here no more. It don't reside here. It don't live here. Okay, bitch, I close my eyes and I rest easy on a bitch. I sleep easy on a bitch knowing I ain't got no niggas out here cheating on me, mom. Muffin. Muffin sat on her tuffin and ate some stuffing, bitch. Listen. She's little Miss Muffin. She sat on her on her tuffin and she ate some stuff. And I don't know how the rhyme go. But she said, listen, bitch. I'm sitting here. Mm-hmm. What I told what hold on, what she done told you? She's sitting here in her green abundant lush ass forest, okay? Out here creating goddamn banana trees and shit and you know about to make some bomb ass banana pudding out here giving back to the universe and shit. She said, I right, listen. I'm sitting on my muffin toughin' bitch and I don't release everything that don't need to be in my life no more. Okay? Okay. Bitch, I, I'm not in I'm not in the um I'm not in the business of carrying burdens. Yeah. You see that statue right there? That is a cemented reminder to this person. He don't he's walking past the statue of himself. He don't even realize that he's been carrying his burden so long. That's the only way that the world sees you is someone carrying and lugging a fucking burden. And I am nobody's goddamn keeper, bitch. All right. What's that? I, am I my brother's keeper? Um, my brother need to learn how to carry his own shit. Okay. Because let me tell you something. One thing I will not be doing is being known for forever in my life is carrying around the burdens of others. I will not do it, honey. I release, I release it in the name. I release that shit in the name, honey. Honey, you see this person? You see this person out here looking at these towers? Do you see him looking at these towers? Those ain't flowers. Those is towers, honey. He said, uh-uh. There won't be no three, four goddamn um unnecessary events or some shit that I ain't seen coming. About to um, um, bust through my damn door. He said, that says one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You ain't about to bust through my door. You ain't about to come through and try to keep shake, rattling, and rolling my, my, my life, okay? I done gave you four opportunities to get shit right, and you keep blindsiding me with these goddamn situations that I don't even be seeing coming, and I still be trying to hold on to situations with you. I rebuke all that shit in the name of Jesus, bitch, okay? I rest easy. I've given myself to nature, bitch, okay? Bitch, uh-uh. No. I won't go. Hell no, we won't go, bitch. What done told you? Hell no, we won't go. You will not motherfucking continue to, um, what? Wreak and destroy and create havoc in my life. I'm not keeping myself locked, attached, and bound to fuckery anymore. Okay? Twist the baby, twist the baby. Your butt stink, okay? Twist the baby, twist the baby, your butt thing. I'll be rocking and twist out all day long, huffing and puffing it, bitch. All the little birds on J Bird Street said, bitch, I like to hear the Robin go tweet, 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 bitch. You don't look like no Robin. I don't know what the fuck type of shit you is, bitch. You, you, you like had me thinking you was a red Robin out here and we was about to go tweet a little, 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 tweet a little, you know what I'm saying? Rockin' Robin. But twist the baby, twist the baby, your butt stink, nigga. Look at your little, hey, look at your little hurry, little nasty, little trife ass. Your butt stink, ew. Ew, you ain't rockin' Robin, bitch. Who the fuck is you? What, what type of fucking shit is you into? What type of shit was you into trying to keep me trapped and bound to the situation with you? Bitch, you was burning candles on a nigga? You was burning candles? Bitch, you was on some shit? You was on some, oh, uh. Girl, yeah, that bitch that, that that was trying to that wasn't the one that Leo was trying to work shit out with, and now this bitch acting crazy. Yeah, her butt stink. That bitch over there doing some old other shit, trying to keep you bound and locked into this relationship in this cycle of drama with her. But you said you know a bitch. Guess what, bitch? Guess what, bitch? I shall and I will remain victorious in the situation. You will not come to me with no fuck shit. 
You would not come to me with no fuck shit. I done told you I done released that burden, bitch. See, that's what this motherfucker was trying to do. This person was trying to cement you and trap you into carrying this burden with them. And you said, bitch, poof, <laughs> poof, pal, surprise. You better open up your eyes, bitch. Poof, pal, surprise, bitch. Oh, no. You will not have no victory in this situation. Okay, bitch? I, I will be the one carrying this motherfucker reef, bitch. Okay? And you see, I got a whole motherfucker's got my back. Okay? Leading me to victory. Okay? Willing to whoop thine ass for me. Okay? That's my pack. Okay, bitch? This motherfucker got your back, but I got the wolf pack, bitch. Okay? What's cracking? Don't let God's soldiers come on out, bitch. You see how I'm looking all over to the side. I'm all surprised. I didn't even know I had these many motherfuckers had my back. Yeah, God then came on out. God said, oh, no. Uh-huh. What we doing? Who it is? Who, who, who need fire? Who want smoke? Say, so let me send my, let me send my folks down there for you. Uh, yeah. Let me send my folks down there for you. You good, boo. What? What? They're like, hey, ma, kumbaya. Oh, hey, kumbaya. Look, they're like, listen, we done whipped that nigga ass. Okay? We done whipped that nigga ass and I gave him a pass, bitch. I'm gone. I am gone. Okay? So let's uh clarify a few more spreads and we up out of here, Leo. Because we done had a long video thus far. But this is a good reading, y'all. This is a very good reading. And it's like, you don't, like, you, you literally don't know, Leo, what the future is going to hold for you. You don't. But you just know you're going to be victorious and you know that you're not willing to communicate and keep trying to defend yourself against no shit in the past. Like, that's all I know. I will be victorious and I'm not going to continue fussing and fighting with y'all about no shit in the past. I got to move forward and I don't give a fuck if I know what is coming and what the future has to hold for me or not. I just know I'm going to be fucking good. Hold on, y'all. Charge. Put my shit in. Please clarify. Spread two and three. The love and shadows. Please clarify the love and shadows spread for me. Thank you so much for the sign of Leo for February. Thank you so much. Okay, come on. Come on, Page of Pentacles. Come on. Come on, not being guarded and you letting people in. Come on. Come on. All right? So in, in regards to that love spread right off the bat, this is the nine. What is this? The nine of wands? Yes, this is the nine of wands. So now Leo is at this point where it's just like, look, you know, I'm not being as guarded as I was before because I've realized if I continue to guard my heart or guard my space like that how in the hell am I going to allow myself for any opportunities for anything new to come in for anybody to offer me anything and they finally stepped aside and like opened up that gate where like someone can see them you know in order for someone to offer you something they gotta know that you're there you know so they're finally opened up that door where people can see them and now offers are coming to them and I feel like honestly this is a solid new offer in love. It's a solid new offer in love. This is something at the page level. This is at grassroots. This is like the new birth of something. A brand new beginning of a new development. Something firm. Something solid in your life. This could be a relationship. This could be a new job offer. And I definitely see career wise that you know. You are going to be successful and you're going to be victorious. You just had to realize I can't work on shit that don't bring me no damn value. I can't do that. And I have to have a clear foundation of something that I'm standing for. I can't just accept and allow anything. And that is the guidance that they've been getting from the Hierophant. And I feel like their buddies and their friends have been looking out for them and it's been helping them too. 
just like no I can't just I can't accept anything I can't accept anything I can't accept anything anybody that doesn't understand who I am where I'm feeling like I'm having to defend myself from my past I'm not I, I'm not willing to do it I'm not willing to do it and I'm not I'm not defending who I am anymore I am who I am ever you accept me who I am and you go on this journey with me where I'm, I'm trying to grow and like look like they said trying to grow Leo is trying to grow ever you were trying to grow with me or like I don't I don't fucking know what to tell you like I did ass don't know what to tell you at all but they have a solid new offer coming in okay they have a solid new offer coming in and they finally stepped aside and stopped being so guarded and letting people in. Alright? So, that's that. Now, in regards to this over here, alright? This is that seven of wands. Alright? So, this is them feeling like, you know, this is them feeling like they're just in a, a a conflict or a battle of their life. You know? And at the same time, I feel like Leo is not necessarily afraid of this conflict and this, and this fight that they're having to go through right now for this happiness. Because I don't really think that he views anybody as any goddamn competition, for real, for real. Because... It's like y'all are talking shit, but y'all don't need y'all ain't even taking your arms up. But I'm like, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all niggas not even ready. So y'all don't put no fear in my heart. I don't really care about what y'all talking about. Like, and if y'all want to rumble, we can do it. Like that's that's what I'm look. That's I'm I'm TTG. I've been trained to go. But one thing I'm gonna let y'all know. Don't jump your ass out there in no battle, in no conflict with a motherfucker that stay ready. Because y'all got to get ready. I stay ready. You know? And that's the real truth. And motherfuckers really don't want to see that. You understand what I'm saying? And then they wonder why the fuck they getting cut out. Because Leo stay ready. I stay ready. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I don't have no time for no situations that... Is not benefiting me. The King of Swords will turn his back on anything that does not have any, you know, solid grounded to them. Like he ice cold. You know, like he's ice cold. It's like, look, I only deal with fact and truth. I'm only willing to address you if there's some fact and truth and if we can really do something here. If we can't do nothing here with this situation, I don't have time for it. You can kiss my backside, and it's icy chilly back there. I hope your lips don't stick to the back of my dick, okay? Like, for real, for real. I don't know where the fuck that came from. How the fuck can you kiss the back of somebody's dick? I mean, I guess you could. Like, I don't know. Whatever. But, like, yeah. What's that movie, uh, with a little baby? He went out there, and he, uh, kissed that pole and shit like that, and his, he was licking that pole, and his tongue got, got stuck on the pole. Bitch, I hope, I hope your tongue don't get stuck on, my, on the back of my pole, bitch. Like, for real. Girl. It's like, I don't understand why you not clear about the fact that you are not prepared to battle with me. You are not prepared to battle with me. You don't want to take up arms to deal with me, sweet, uh, sweetness. Because you're not going to win. Like, you're not going to win. And I'm not going to give you no favor. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> then y'all gotta see these cards. Hold on, y'all. Is this thing still beeping? It is. Hold on, y'all. Cause my camcorder is about to die on me, beloved. We ain't got time for that. Lord, I'm gonna hit my head and everything. We good? We good. All right, cool. Yeah. 
Because this is the Ten of Swords. Like I'm trying to tell you, Leo is... It's what I'm trying to tell you. Leo is dead serious about you are not prepared for this battle with them. You are not prepared. They will cut you down. They will cut you out with no hesitation, with no remorse, with no favor. So when you sit in there, lay there slay. Okay? It's like I don't want to hear nothing about it. Because I told you that I'm not playing with you. Like Leo told you from the beginning. The child's play that inner, that child that childish bullshit. Leo is not playing anymore. They're really not playing anymore. Okay? And they don't have any emotions right now to give anybody. Leo is like focused on their self. They don't have any love to give at this current state where they're at right now. They're, they're kind of ice cold right now. And they're cutting out situations that are not serving them. And they're moving on with their life. Do you see what I'm saying? This is the three of wands. They're moving on with their life. And they got the world in their hand. And that world, um, it looks like it's a yin and yang. They're moving forward and they're making sure that they're being complete, balanced, and grounded. Do you understand? They're leaving certain shit behind that have already grown roots elsewhere. And it looks like they have a magical wand in their hand that they that they have that can move with them. And they're manifesting greatness moving forward. Like they in and they're moving forward with a certain level of balance. Okay. And they are receiving a lot of passionate messages of love and things like that. But I feel like at this moment, they are holding out for true love. True love. True love. True love. They want to be sure. They want to be sure this time. This is the Knight of Wands. They want to be sure this time that... This love is going to be around forever. They want to make sure that this person is going to be around forever. They don't want to be in a situation with someone who is like trying to mentally manipulate them. And, you know, just do underhanded, deceitful, devious things just to get ahead in life, you know. They want someone that is willing to compromise with them. They're willing, you know, even in the bad and the worst times in their relationship, they want someone that is willing to really fight for them, not fight with them. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, I want somebody that's willing to fight for this relationship, not fighting with me. For your personal win. You know. I want to be sure this time. I want to be sure this time. That it's true love. You know. And then it's the messages. It's messages of new beginning. Of true love. Like real true love. That's what I want. That's what I want. They want a queen of pentacles. They want someone that's grounded, that has a strong foundation, someone that, you know, and, and it's this fairy of the green world is, is you know, resembles the um, Queen of Pentacles. This is someone that is willing to plant seeds and let them grow. Like, this is someone that is truly representative of this fairy. It's just like she cares about nature. She cares about the state of the world. And that's what Leo wants. They want someone that really truly loves them. And cares about the state of their world. You know. They want. To not have to be guarded anymore. And someone that is going to be. Passionate and thrilling. And. A continuous thriving. Of this new beginning and this new development and this new relationship. They want something that can be nurtured or something that is going to grow. They want something that is going to be nurtured or something that is going to grow. They want new love. 
And they're going to get new love. This is the lake of Aphrodite. This is the fountain of Aphrodite. The goddess of love. The true goddess of love is Oshun, though. Don't get it fucked up. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Do you understand? This is a love that is going to be overflowing. Overflowing. And he's going to be certain of it. He's going to be certain of it that he wants to give his time and his love to this. And he's going to be certain that y'all are going to work together, not work against each other. And that this lady is going to be the true queen of abundance and growth and prosperity. And that y'all are going to be forever cemented in this life as a couple that grows and shows together. All right, Leo, this has been your reading. This was a very good reading. This was a very good reading because at the end of the day, I, you know, because I've been doing y'all reading, like, this is spot on. Like, when I'm trying to tell you, like, this shit is spot on, this is spot on. Because, you know, Leo has been through a damn lot, has been through a lot, and they really do just want a situation Okay, what popped out? This is the star card. You know, they have literally poured out anything that has kept them unbalanced. Anything that has altered their faith. You know, they have literally dealt with that shadow. They dealt with that dark shadow. And they purged anything that was not helping their growth and development right now they stand naked before god they stand naked before the universe and they are taking the elements that they have learned spiritually and they're pouring it into their physical world right now and they're moving forward victoriously and i told y'all victoriously i don't know what and then look here go the damn ten of pentacles okay not only are they going to find somebody, look, and who, they're standing before someone, like, in, almost in a marriage ceremony, with ten pinnacles, happy with their union and love. Leo, you're going to find true happiness. You most definitely are. Because like I told you, anybody that was trying to come against you, they ain't even ready for you. They ain't even ready to take up arms and if you get ready and if you stay ready you ain't got to get ready and you ready for this new love you understand you're ready for this new love leo i love y'all y'all been good i see y'all in the mid months peace